happy Friday. This week's kind of been a little tough, um, you know, hearing of these suicides from these, you know, famous people that seem to have everything in their life, money and, and you know, fame and like Anthony Bourdain uh, being discovered last night, uh, killed himself. And um, Kate Spade earlier this week uh, took her life as well. And, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be giving my gift if I, if I didn't say anything. And my gift is, is that, you know, you can get the help that you need. I did it myself a few years back because I was in a spot where I was not very happy at all. And I was going down that road and I recognized it and I had good people in my life tell me, you can ask for help, Annie, go get help. And I did that. Um, I went through this whole process and I learned so much about what was happening in my brain um, from the McKeechee Hall uh, at Main Med. And also I stayed at this place called Broadway Crossings in South Portland to get my bearings together. And it's, you know, asking for that help is the hardest part and letting go is the hardest part too. Thinking, you know, what about my job? What about my money? What about my apartment? All that stuff will be taken care of, I promise. You need to let go in order to go get that help and feel better and not go down that road of, you know, taking your life and being depressed and anxious. I still struggle every single day with my depression and my anxiety, but I know now and I can see it better than I've seen it before. And I know what it is and I can kind of use tools that I learned um, to help myself out. So you are not alone. You're never by yourself. Talk to friends. Uh, talk to your church. Talk to your family. Go get the help that you need because it can help you and it can help you to heal and help you to better manage those feelings too. So that's all I wanted to say. You're not alone, okay? And uh, 211 for help is a great tool as well here in Maine. So definitely utilize that. I have before too. So here we go. How about, uh, you know, take a deep breath. <sighs> Let it out. It's freaking Friday. The weekend is here. So how about we do some happiness is my tear off calendar. Okay, so here we go. Let me get going here. 1037 The Peak, Maine and New Hampshire's new country. Ah, oh, it's freaking Friday and I'm fixing, fixing to put, there you go, Andy. <laughs> Crown on top of your head, the cherry on top of your Sunday. It's happiness is my tear off calendar that I love to share with you in hopes that it reaches you if you're having a hard time and reminds you that the small things in life, they are so worth it and that there's a lot of beauty around you and, um, you know, you can uh, get help and take care of yourself and be okay. So happiness is for Friday, June 8th. Making a dish from your mother's favorite recipe book. <laughs> so I will say, sorry, Mom. My mom wasn't the best cook in the world. She used what she had. The running joke was always like, what are we having for dinner tonight, Mom? You're just going to dig in the cabinets? She's like, yep. And she would just make up stuff. <laughs> But that's what happens, you know, when you're living in Tennessee and you're raising six kids. She did what she had to do. I will say, though, that my grandmother from Tennessee, now she had the recipes, man. I can make a mean biscuits and gravy. Oh, yes. Maybe I'll make that this weekend. She also always made really good fried chicken, too. I should reach out to my aunt and get those recipes from her for that. But happiness is... Making a dish from your mother's favorite recipe. Oh, that must bring back, bring back some good memories for you. On the way, Morgan Whalen, Jason Aldean, David Lee Murphy with Kenny on 1037 The Peak. Have a great weekend. Relax and enjoy it. Soak up that sunshine. We need it. And I will see you back here um, on Monday. Okay? Bye.